About 60 extremist Israeli settlers forced their way into the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound in occupied East Jerusalem through the Moroccan Gate Sunday morning, escorted by Israeli special forces and police. The incursion occurred after the right-wing Jewish group Women for the Temple called on ultra-Orthodox Israelis to tour the Muslim holy site to mark the start of the new Jewish month. Eyewitnesses said that the settlers toured the Al-Aqsa courtyards performing Jewish rituals in clear violation of the long-standing agreements over the Al-Aqsa mosque status. Meanwhile, Israeli police tightened security measures on the entry of Muslim Palestinians into the Al-Aqsa mosque, especially youths. Extremist Jewish settlers have rapidly disrespected the vicinity of Al-Aqsa by calling for massive incursions into the holy site on a regular basis, thus creating hostility and confrontations with Muslim worshippers. The Israeli attacks in Jerusalem aim to get the Palestinian, Islamic and Arab minds fully prepared to accept a bigger and criminal act by Israel in the Holy City. If this happens, then the situation on the ground will flare up not only in Palestine, but also in the Arab and Islamic region. Non-Muslim worship at the Al-Aqsa compound is prohibited according to an agreement that was signed between Israel and the Jordanian government after Israel's illegal annexation of Jerusalem in 1967. Al-Aqsa is the third holiest site in Islam. Jews, for their part, refer to the area as Temple Mount, which they believe is the location of two Jewish temples in ancient times. Nuharazin Tulisu TV, Palestine.